Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how to rotate a material. It's really easy to do. Um, so right now I have Revit 2020 open. You can see I have a floor model here and a material shown. Down here in the visual styles, you can see that I have realistic on, so I can see that material. Now, for example, we have these this wood paneling here. Um, if we wanted to take these, this wood and rotate it around so it goes vertically instead of horizontally, um, we would want to go into the material, um, create a um, pattern to it so that we can grab it and then rotate it around. Uh, it's really easy to do. So uh, with this open, what we'll do is go into the manage tab and then into the materials we'll want to look for that material there so it's just a wood floor flooring material <coughs> excuse me and we can see here that there's already a pattern applied to it now what we're going to do is actually switch the visual style so we'll come down here and then go into a shaded view and then we'll just tab into this that's all we have to do tab into that and then rotate we select it a point on there and then let's just rotate it 90 degrees and then we'll jump back into realistic and you can see now it's updated uh, this goes for families as well so I'll show you an example and we'll also create the pattern so you can see here, um, just for consistency purposes, we may want this uh, rotated around. You know, it's all dependent on how that that uh, item's actually constructed. But to do this, it's really easy. So um, you may think that this is actually just one material; it would rotate everything. But every uh, plane that you see here is essentially a different. Um, material element you can rotate so like this plane over here for the ramp is a different material uh, that you can actually rotate so what we're going to do is again jump into the materials uh, tab on the manage or the materials button on the manage tab go into the material itself now in this example it doesn't actually have a pattern so what we'll do is create that pattern to do it is really easy. So we'll come down here, create a new pattern. And uh, I'm just going to leave it as the basic one. And I'll just switch this 45 degree angle to a 90. Come down here, press OK. And then you can see that we have vertical uh, lines. And then now if we click OK, you can see up here in the foreground pattern that we have that applied. Press OK. And then now we'll switch back from uh, realistic to shaded. We'll go into a top view. Actually, let's try this. So something, and this is important to know, when you're creating that material, so we'll go back into it, uh, it has to be a modeled one. So I switched it to a drafting one. You cannot tab into that. So it's kind of nice that we step through that. You can see um, uh, where the difference is. Now, if we go into the model pattern, create that, and then change this to 90 degrees, you'll see that after that's updated and placed on this element, and then press OK, we can see now that it updates correctly. So drafting ones do operate a little bit differently. You can see them in drafting views. You can see them in these um, when you change the visual styles, but you can't necessarily work with them in a modeled view. So to do that with this modeled element, um, this modeled um, pattern, we would tab into it. So you can see I can tab into the lines. I can do rotate, just like the other one. I'll just snap to that um, zero degree and then rotate it 90 degrees and then we'll switch back into realistic and you can see now it's updated now I'll have to do the same thing over here 
which again we'll switch into that shaded view we'll tap tab into that rotate we'll just pick a point rotate at 90 degrees and it will snap and then we'll switch it back to realistic and now you can see that it's updated so again it depends on the family but that option is there if you find that the material isn't rotated correctly all you have to do is apply a modeled texture to that material and then switch it to a shaded view and then just rotate it around uh, let me know if you have any questions let me know if this works for you or if you have a different method I'd love to hear it um, feel free to to like share comment and I appreciate you taking the time to watch this thanks a lot